So installing Claude code on Windows is not the most straightforward thing in the world. When I went to install it on my machine, I looked up a YouTube video and that YouTube video described how to install it using sudo. The problem with this is it says right on the documentation page for Claude code that you should not install it using sudo. So I wanted to make a video on how to do it the right way. Install Linux from the Microsoft Store. If you go to your start menu, type in store and pull up the Microsoft Store. Search in here for Ubuntu. It's free, it's the first one right here. Just open it up and install it. What that does for you is it puts a folder in your Windows Explorer for Linux. You can open it up by searching for Ubuntu in the start menu and just opening the app from there. And you get a command line. The first time you open this, it's going to ask you to set up a username and password for yourself. So just make up a username and a password that you'll remember. This is gonna be something that you type in when you do things that require higher level access. Next, we wanna run updates on Ubuntu. We're gonna use sudo here. It's okay to use sudo to upgrade the system and to install Node.js. It's not okay to use sudo to install Claude. So we're gonna do sudo apt update double and sudo apt upgrade dash y. It asks me for a password and we're gonna let this run. Next, we're going to install Node.js. That's going to be sudo apt install dash y Node.js and npm. So that's done. Next, we install Claude code. So on the Claude documentation page, they give you this command to run. If you run this without doing anything else first, it will give you an error because it doesn't have permission to install in the path that it tries to install in. And that's what this message here is saying. So what you do, if you click on this page that's linked here, is you make a user writable NPM prefix. It sounds complicated, but all you have to do is copy and paste this code right here. So if I copy this, and then head back to the terminal. Pasting in a terminal is just a right click. It's not control C, control V like you would typically get in other applications. So I'm gonna right click and it's gonna paste all that code in and then hit enter. So if you look at what this is doing, it's got a line in here to install Claude code. So you don't actually have to run the install command anymore. It's already installed. At this point, you can type Claude to run Claude. First time you open it, it's going to ask you what color mode you want to use, and then it'll ask you to log into your subscription. So right now I'm using a pro subscription, which seems to be working fine for what I am doing. It'll essentially let you use it to the full capacity until you run out of tokens. And then you have to wait for that token period to reset. So some number of hours, I think it's four hours right now. And it says that it opens a browser, but it hasn't ever done that for me. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste this link, highlight the text, and then right click it to copy. It doesn't have the traditional copy menu like you see in Windows. When you paste that into a browser, it'll ask you to authorize. So click that and then it gives you a code. So I'm gonna copy this code and then we're gonna paste it back in the terminal. Right click to paste and hit enter and we're good to go. Gives you some warnings here. What it's talking about essentially only use this with libraries and MCP servers that you trust. There's a fair amount of risk associated with using MCP servers right now. Enter to continue and we're good to go. And what this is pointed at right now, if I open up my file explorer, this Ubuntu folder here in the home folder under my username, whatever I called myself, there's a bunch of files and folders in here. What I would recommend is creating a folder in here that you want to store your code projects in. So I created a folder called projects, and then you can create a folder under that for each of the things that you are working on. That way you can tell Claude, hey, I'm working in this folder right now, only look at files in this particular folder. You can also tell Claude to create the folder so I can be like, make a folder called YouTube demo. Maybe I shouldn't have spaces in here, makes it a little easier. So this is case sensitive. Just keep that in mind. You may wanna go with lowercase. So Claude code will ask you every time it does something if it actually has permission. If you don't want it to ask every time, you can tell it that too. You can also interrupt it and tell it to do something different. And you can tell it to navigate to that folder and it'll use that folder. For the sake of this demo, I'll have it create a short script. But if you wanna see real projects related to automation and reporting on this, um, just subscribe because I'm gonna be making some videos on this soon. So I can say, make a demo hello world script. Give it permission. So it created that file. It can also run files. It can install dependencies. It can troubleshoot its own errors. So this is cool. So let's just see what happens when I run this. And there's the output. 
So you can see that the first time it tried to run the script, it used not quite right syntax, but it realized that and reran it with the proper command. So if we head back to our Ubuntu folder under home, my username, projects, we see our folder here that Claude created and we see our script. We can open this to look at it and there it is. So we're up and running now. Anytime we want to use Claude code to write code, we open up Ubuntu, type the word Claude, hit enter, and we're good to go. All right, thanks for watching and have a great day.